Hello dear crypto friends, so let's look into the crypto market, what is happening and what is Bitcoin doing. Let's start with our Bitcoin long term chart. And today Bitcoin started pumping again, which is of course very nice. We like it when Bitcoin starts pumping. And in the last videos I have established that we're doing some kind of running flat correction that we are in this funny trend channel here. And I've also established that Bitcoin is doing a hidden bullish divergence. So higher lows and at the same time lower lows in the RSI, which is a hidden bullish divergence. So therefore I'm quite bullish on Bitcoin, especially in the long term weekly chart. But we do know also that Bitcoin tends to follow stocks quite a lot lately. So therefore we also have to look at stocks, what they are doing. And here's the Nasdaq. And in the Nasdaq we also can see that a hidden bullish divergence is forming. Let's just change the color here to white. So, you know, this is the monthly chart in the Nasdaq and we have higher lows, while at the same time the RSI is making a lower low. So we again have a bullish divergence. So it's my belief that we will soon have a big pump to the upside, which at the same time is quite logical because the dollar as I said, is pretending that it will pump, but we know that it's already brutally overbought. If we look at the stochastic RSI, it's crazy how overbought the dollar index is. And the dollar index tells us that the dollar is pumping with regards to some other big currencies, for example, like the Euro, the Yen, the Swiss franc, the British pound and so on. Um, so the dollar has been pumping and in earlier videos I said that the dollar index is having some kind of bearish divergence. So I cannot really see strong bullish divergences of any kind here. We could argue that there might be some kind of hidden bullish divergence. We have higher lows here and we had lower lows here on the RSI. But the dollar has already been pumping continuously since May 2021 without any correction. Just look at this. It's just pumping straight in this straight line here without any significant correction. And of course, we know that sooner or later this has to correct. This just cannot go on. And the stochastic RSI is also massively overbought, as we can see here. So there will be a correction because last time this was the case. There were massive dumps afterwards. After this huge run up, there were there were uh, there was a long period where we had massive dumps. So it cannot just continue going up in a straight line. Looking again at the RSI, we could also argue that we have a quite long term bearish divergence because we can see that we are wobbling around this area here, which is like um, around hundred. There's always like a strong resistance here. It has real trouble going through 100 and staying above it. But at the same time, the RSI is not able to reach such levels anymore. So even now we can see that uh, the RSI is not able to reach the level it had when it was the last time at around 100, so slightly below 100. This means that uh, the dollar index is making long term bearish divergence. But then on top we have this fascinating fractal here, which I've showed a few times, which is just the overlay of the 1929 bull market. So from around 1914 to 1929, many don't remember it, but there was actually a huge bull market in American stocks before the 1929 crash. And it looks remarkably similar to the situation we have now. And if we overlay this, we can see that this is very similar to the situation we had here. So we had this run up and then it was wobbling around for quite a while until pushing up one last time. We also had this run up and then we are wobbling around here for quite a while already since May 2021. And I suspect we will have also a last run up, a brutal unexpected run up until November this year or sometime later this year. And then we will see huge dumps. So therefore my belief is that the market will continue to pump, that we will see um, one last strong pump towards the end of the year, which will coincide with a drop in the dollar. Because the Fed will say, oh man, the crisis is brutal. 
oh, we cannot raise interest rates or we will risk crashing the economy. So they will backpedal on interest rate hikes, which will of course then lead to dumping of the dollar and pumping of the stock market. So Bitcoin is continuing to pump and I think we are now heading slowly for the upper end of this channel here. Then we might see a retrace or a bounce of some sort and then we will continue higher upwards until we reach the peak of 230,000 by the end of the year. Now let's look at some altcoins because I promised last time that I would look at some altcoins and people said please look at the following altcoins. Someone requested that I look at LTC USD. Okay, LTC USD, why not? Right? Why not? See how friendly I am to you? See how see how friendly I am to you, guys? So, let's look at LTC USD. Right? This is the long-term LTC USD chart. Now, Litecoin has a very interesting behavior. I said before that LTC BTC is uh, dropping so it's with regard to bitcoin losing value it's in kind of a descending channel um, has been in a descending channel for a long time with regard to bitcoin the ldc usd chart on the other hand looks quite fascinating so litecoin likes to pump and then to range for a very long time then it was ranging it had a pump and then it was ranging now it had a second pump in 2017 and also has been raging, ranging ever since, right? There's no clear pattern. And then it probably will do another pump and keep ranging again. That's what Litecoin basically does. Now, can we see something in the Litecoin chart that gives us a hint how high it will go? Or is there some kind of interesting pattern? It's very hard to find some, some pattern. We could say that maybe it's doing some kind of falling wedge maybe some kind of falling wedge is forming you know so that it's doing like one two three four it could be it could be but it's not clear yet do we have some divergences i don't even see a clear divergence here to be honest we had lower lows in the price chart but also lower lows in the rsi so there's no divergence here yeah, it's 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 not conclusive what it will do and I I expect it will just follow Bitcoin and at some point when Bitcoin starts pumping um, It will do those things that it did before so it just drops You know it drops and then suddenly goes berserk drops for a long time suddenly goes berserk drops for a long time suddenly goes berserk So I expect it to do the same it drops it drops it drops and then out of nowhere unexpectedly it will pump like crazy and how high will it pump well i think this will be given through this upper resistance line here so i think it might go to 0 0.01 so that means that bitcoin hitting 230,000 by the end of the year 0 0.01 is like divided by 100 so this would put ltc at a target price of 2300 dollars by the end of the year or shortly after Bitcoin reaches the top. Another requested coin was Zcash and the people have spoken. So I will, of course, friendly as I am, take a look at Zcash. Let's find an exchange with a long history for Zcash. And Zcash has an also quite similar chart that looks very similar to LTC. It had its peak, I mean, it started trading sometime in 2016. That's apparently when it was created. It didn't exist before that. Then it had a strong pump in 2017, like most coins. And now it's been ranging for a long time. And like many other coins, did not reach the all-time high of 2017. Many coins did that, okay? Not only XRP, but for example, also Dash, Qtum, NEM, NEO, and many other coins actually did not reach the high of 2017. So it's doing a structure very similar to LTC. I also cannot see huge divergences here. It is like possibly doing some kind of falling wedge structure, very similar to LTC. And if we look at Zcash BTC, now Zcash BTC is also very hard to extract anything of, of uh, use here because it has like, um, well a, a long-term lower it's, it's in a long-term 
descending trend channel basically and it seems as if it wants to break out of this trend channel but there's not enough data yet to see if this will really happen we also don't have any real big divergences here i'm looking for some kind of hidden bullish divergence but it does not really exist so basically i think we have to wait until it breaks out of this long-term channel here and then maybe at st some point it will start pumping again like it did here so a combination with this uh, falling wedge that we had before i think zcash will also pump like most other coins and then someone requested rvn what is what is rvn even i don't even know what rvn is but i'm very sure it's a super awesome coin rvn usd ah, okay so ravine Ra no raven coin raven coin of course so raven coin is interesting it was created in 2018 so it's one of the newer coins that didn't even see the rallies in 2017 and before that so um it and it pumped pretty nicely in this last run-up it pumped really nicely from 0.01 to 0.3 so around a factor of 30 and now it has been doing some kind of descending formation so we can say that it's doing some kind of wedge here which can be interpreted as a bull flag for me this is like a, a bull flag and we can also see that here contrary to the other coins that we analyzed before we see that it has been doing higher lows here right it has been doing higher lows whereas the rsi is doing lower lows so here we at least have a hidden bullish divergence therefore just looking at this chart uh, it looks kind of more bullish to me than ltc or zcash just looking at the pure chart here it looks to me more bullish than the two previous coins and looking at rvn btc we see a fascinating behavior so it seems to be doing the stuff that altcoins like to do which means just pumping 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 and then going lower and lower and lower and lower and here pumping 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 and then what could it do it could do lower 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 and then suddenly bam suddenly it goes berserk and when this happens nobody knows but this is what altcoins normally do when bitcoin is starting a pump right so when bitcoin starts to pump and it started pumping in august 2020 so from august 2020 till january 2021 it was just going lower 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 and lower and you thought like man this coin is dying right and then suddenly out of nowhere it just goes crazy that is what all coins do that is the behavior of altcoins in the bitcoin bull market and i expect that when bitcoin now starts pumping again and goes to over 100,000, i expect this coin will dump again with regards to btc and then suddenly go berserk again so this coin is actually looking pretty good the altcoins are looking very bullish even more bullish than bitcoin we have like a strong strong uh, bullish divergence here look at this i mean this is crazy this is like a super bullish divergence the uh, the price is making higher highs and higher lows while at the same time the rsi is making lower highs and lower lows so this is like super hidden bullish divergence like really strong look look at the inclination this is a much stronger hidden bullish divergence as compared for example to the bitcoin chart so this means the all coins they are really like they really want to pump okay they are really primed for a pump and they are just waiting like please give me one reason to brutally pump so i think the all coins are waiting for for pumps and first i think bitcoin will start pumping we don't know how high but it has already started bitcoin has already started pumping as we know and then the altcoins will as always not do much first bitcoin will pump the altcoins will not do much and then suddenly they will follow and go completely crazy with delay of course bitcoin is always the first mover and bitcoin is always pumping first so bitcoin will pump first maybe like this here and at some point when bitcoin starts making new highs 
at some point then in this line here the altcoins will start going crazy but when exactly that happens nobody knows but that is the beauty of the crypto market that is just how the altcoins work they don't do anything you think they are dead bitcoin is rising bitcoin is rising they are not doing anything everyone thinks they are dead and then suddenly out of nowhere they go completely crazy and go completely vertical that is how the market works so let me know in the comment section what other coins to take a look at what other coins to analyze i will take a look at all the altcoins i hope you enjoyed this video friends of crypto and then i would say see you next time